What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old inn, and I'm back at y'all with another quick video. Now, before we get started, go ahead and do me a favor, man. Hit that like if you like the content. Hit that subscribe if you want to become a part of the Hoodlum Gang. Also, go on over to IG and follow me at Instagram. I mean, at Hoodie from the Hood on Instagram. Um, before I get started, I wanted to kind of touch on something that uh cartoon was saying the other day and i know people gonna get in the comments and be like i don't know why you pay attention to them why you give them your time listen homie like he was saying he had addressed a few people in his comments who you could tell that they got something against gang members maybe they wanted to be one and didn't make the cut maybe a gang member used to mark them out when they used to walk home from school or maybe a gang member took their girl but it just seems like people always come in the comments trying to tell us about our lifestyle if you haven't lived it don't speak on it for some reason these people think they can interject and give their opinion on shit that they have zero experience in never even been around it it'd be one thing if you didn't bang but you lived over there you got family from there so you've been around it so you know a little bit more than the average person but we live in a day and age where people just feel like just because they have an opinion and a platform that they should voice it. And they'll come on your platform and try to convince you of how they feel, uh, but won't show their face. Um, this is why people like Chump Stories can have a successful platform and people uh, gravitate towards that. And this dude ain't never been in no type of trenches in his life, you can tell. But anyways... Um, like I tell people all the time, man, your your your, your comments um, and your opinion don't even matter over here. So I could care less how a motherfucker feel who ain't never been through none of the stuff that we go through. Uh, with that being said, we're going to get into the topic, as you can tell from the title. Uh, this is something that I stumbled across. Um, well, I actually had seen it the other day when China Mac was hollering at... Um, T Rail and Smack. Uh, I wonder if he asked Smack about getting smacked or if that was done before. But, anyways, um, I guess China Mac was questioning them about their little friction they having with Milk 7 Folk or had. I, I didn't even really know it was nothing like that. Um, Adam told T Rail basically. He gave him an ultimatum, and that's what it's been. I ain't seen Milk make no videos. I ain't seen t Real make no videos back and forth about it. It just seemed like they just kind of left it where it was at. But uh, he was questioning them about the whole situation. And um, I did see... I, I, I can understand how Milk could take that wrong, because he basically like, China Mac, you not from L.A., you from New York. You questioning about me being outside, you not outside. Or or he is outside in LA, but you not you not in the New York streets or whatever, whatever. Whatever the case is. Uh basically like why are you so fascinated with my status in my hood that has nothing to do with you? Um I also do understand how I I don't have no dog in this fight, homie. Obviously, I could I, I could care less about any of the individuals or what they got going on uh, personally, but it is content. It was a little bit interesting because there's a few things I want to point out. Um, it seemed like T. Real keep on making it. He, he keeps making it appear as if they're just from the same thing and he just don't know him. Uh they are up under the same tree, but they are from two separate entities. And it's possible um, that he could not know him, especially if he didn't mingle with that specific faction like that. Um, on the flip side, uh, I mean, you, you, you would hear of somebody of that caliber, homie, uh, a white boy being from a black gang. A black dude being from a Hispanic gang, Hispanic being from a black gang, whatever the case is, they're just, they would stand out. Um, even if you didn't know a person personally, if his name was ringing bells, you would be like, oh, you know, 
it's a white boy from over there or it's an Asian or whatever the case or a black dude from a Hispanic gang or black dude from an Asian gang. Those people stand out. The fact that it's such a mystery. Is he? Is he not? You know what I mean? Like, bro. Your name should have been ringing more bells, but he is from a different branch of that tree. So I understand that part. And he keep making it seem like they from the same section and he just ain't never seen this dude. And that's kind of misleading. So I understand where Milk is coming from with his frustration. Like, bro, I don't you you don't even cross over Slauson. Like, of course, you ain't never met me. But like I said, his name should have still been ringing bells had he been outside like that and not just hanging outside, smoking and drinking and tossing it up and wearing the colors like actually sliding and doing things niggas would know you homie and the fact that it's such a mystery um that says a lot but anyways uh and then china mac, i guess he was you know when he made that reaction his reaction about china mac china mac i seen like a two minute clip to where he was basically like bro if you're gonna keep doing all that talking like come outside like you're you posting pictures from 10 years ago that's proof that you know these dudes. Okay. But where you been at since then? Every video is like in a a, a, a kitchen, a balcony. Uh, what, what the homie called? Because a, a, a calcony banger. Um, and this ain't no diss. Like I said, I don't have a problem with the dude. I'm just saying like all them pictures is old as hell. Like there's no recent nothing. And 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 you can only get away with, oh, I just, just cause I don't record it, just cause I don't show you, you can only get away with that for so long, bro. You've been on YouTube how many years and we've never seen the guy outside like that. And I ain't talking about just, you know, out eating with his girl. So I'm talking about we've never seen the guy outside, like not one time, not a... Not a picture, nothing. When when seven fold day come up or any of that, not even a picture like, yeah, I was there. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So um I, I feel where China Mac is coming from because it's a lot of people who low-key feel like that. Like, man, this nigga ain't never around them. But I could see if you fell back from the gang scene, and even still, you will be in contact with some people. It will be some type of something. Your birthday, nigga pull up on you on your birthday. Even if you don't go hang out in your section like that, you got certain niggas that will pull up on you and come fuck with you on your C-Day. Y'all got a, 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 a air C&C or a motherfucking a, a dinner date, whatever the case. I, I don't know. I don't follow the nigga. Y'all tell me. I don't see nobody around this dude. It's just him by himself. And the thing is, when you got that much of an opinion and you just talking shit about everybody, it's like, bro, but you, you're not outside. Like, no one's ever going to see you. Your homies don't even see you like that from what we can see. Um, like I said, homie, if you was really out there like that, there will be some type of something. Not saying you're not from your section, because it's a lot of niggas from their section who ain't been around in years, who barely tap in with the homies who live in another state or some niggas live in san diego and just st still don't pull up to the hood you know what i mean but they still bang the hood on us on their social media you will see one or two niggas by themselves all the time but come on homie you got to question stuff like that any nigga that's from the streets will question like he probably ain't even good in his section like that you know what i mean or whatever the case and i'm not talking about older niggas who they 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 fell back from the gang scene or they just don't care to post stuff like that but even still i know niggas 50 60 years old who you can still see pulling up on their homies like cartoon cartoon live out of state but when he go to la he's in south park homie he's still pulling up on his homies and that's just that's just normal stuff homie we only recording stuff that we do on the regular anyways it's not like it's not like a nigga don't go over there and the first time he go over there he pull out his phone it's like bro this is what we do all the time anyways i'm just giving y'all a small glimpse of my everyday life but when you see somebody the glimpse of his everyday life is sitting in the kitchen smoking a blunt uh somebody said he go outside for 7.4 seconds that was comedy um as a matter of fact i think i think china mac said that but you know when you got that much of an opinion and you doing all of this Make yourself accessible. Uh, you know, if, 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 you know, you really like that. I don't know, bro. I just feel where both sides is coming from. I understand. But um, 
we'll see where this go, man. I don't know if this is going to turn into something because it sounds like China Mac low key, you know, was about to go there with him. Um, like I said, I don't know any of these individuals, homie. So it's not really like like this is uh, something that I'm invested in. It's just, you know, for content purposes. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about the China Mac and Milk 74 situation that's kind of heating up. Was you aware of it? Are you unaware of it? Go check it out. Come back. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm about to slide up in this motherfucker. You already know what time it is, man. Your friend from that big old N hoodie hood. I'm out.